Can the Prime Minister please share his Christmas message for children being bombed in Gaza this winter? Mr Speaker, nobody wants to see this conflict go on for a moment longer than necessary. We urgently need more humanitarian pauses to get all the hostages out and to get life-saving aid into Gaza to alleviate the suffering of the Palestinian people. And we have been consistent that we support what is a sustainable ceasefire, which means Hamas must stop launching rockets into Israel and release all the hostages. Mr Speaker, if the current actions of the Israeli government continue, then it is estimated that almost 1,400 more children will die between now and Christmas Day. Now, in the United Nations last night, our friends and allies in France in Ireland, in Canada, in Spain and in Australia, they joined with 148 other nations to vote with courage, care and compassion for a ceasefire. The UK, they shamefully abstained. How can the Prime Minister possibly explain why 153 nations are wrong, yet Westminster is right? Mr Speaker, as I have said consistently, we are deeply concerned about the devastating impact of the fighting in Gaza on the civilian population. Too many people have lost their lives already, and this is something that we have stressed and I have stressed personally to Prime Minister Netanyahu just last week. And what we are doing practically is to get more aid into Gaza. Mr. Speaker. The Foreign Secretary is appointing a UK humanitarian coordinator, and in my conversations last week with Prime Minister Netanyahu, I pressed him on opening up the Karem Shalom crossing so that more aid can flow in, and we are actively exploring the opportunity for maritime corridors, something that the UK is well placed to lead. And I can give him my assurance that we will work night and day to get more aid to those who desperately need it.